Happy Friday, everyone. Um, I hope everyone's doing really well. I had kind of a stressful week. It was just, I had a lot to do. I had a lot of doctor's appointments that I was trying to get made, and that wasn't too bad. That wasn't really the most stressful part. It was just kind of, felt like I had, um... a lot going on. I was, I had like this cold, and that's not that bad, but every time I get a cold, and this isn't my real question, but do you guys like, whenever you get like a little cold, does it like flare up your pots really bad? Because I find for me it really does. I got my, um, weekly infusion, fluid infusion on, um, Thursday, so yesterday. If IV fluids, I switched it to D5 saline for my mito, and... Then, I don't know, I just, like, I got home and I had this huge stack of paperwork to fill out for my speech therapy for my swallowing at, at, um, the hospital, rehab hospital, be going to for outpatient, and, um, I just had another p short paperwork to fill out, and, um, just, I don't know. It just and it feels like medicine three times a day with the tube and everything. And it's easy. It just I just feel like it's everything takes up a lot of time. Um, like there isn't much time for anything else. I just feel like I'm always having to be doing something. And then when I'm resting, I feel like I should be doing my physical therapy or I should be cleaning or I should be doing homework. And um, but at the same time, I feel like there's too much time resting. I'd rather be out doing things that are just normal. Um, but I know I'll get there. It's just been one of those weeks where I'm like, I don't know, just, just feeling stressed. And I think that that's okay. I think that sometimes, um, I mean, I'm not superwoman. I'm not always going to handle everything I need to get done perfectly. It doesn't mean I stop doing what needs to be done. It just means that it's a little bit hard. It's a little bit stressful. And, um... Yeah, so just hopefully it'll be a better week next week. I had a really good weekend, like, till Monday. I was, I got to go out a couple times, and so that was nice. I'm trying to remember all that. Um, I don't think what else happened this week. I had to go out again today for something, and then I had a couple of, I go to the dentist after, or the orthodontist to get a new retainer made after my infusion yesterday. Um, I was like on the phone. I've been on the phone for like an hour trying to make this one appointment, and then I learned that they can't even take me, and so I'm trying to find someone else, and so that was really annoying. It was really, really annoying. That was a lot of time just being on the phone and sitting on hold. Made me think of Christina's with polka, calling her doctor polka. <laughs> I don't think I'm saying that word. Polka, polka. Uh, just like I mean, I, I got it at my minutes, and it was almost an hour that I'd been on hold um, over four phone calls, and I had talked to a real person like twice, and I left so many voicemails, and no one called me back to let me know. No, you can't do this. This is not the right. This is not possible to happen. You can't see him outpatient. <laughs> Thanks. No one told me because when I left the hospital they told me to call him because um, they thought that they could. So that was that was a downer. Um, I feel like there's another frustration I had this week. It's just like so, oh, and I, oh, then I can't get even to get into my ther physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy until the end of next month. And it's normally, for since I just got out of the hospital, it's fast. Normally it's like, even like, I know my friend, she's waiting, and she's been trying for like the past several weeks, and she just got an appointment for like the end of April. So that's good, but it's still like, mm, I need it now. Um, I've been having a lot of left-sided weakness again. Um, not like, I'm not having a stroke, it's just kind of like I can feel it, and my throat feels more tired, like I don't feel like I, I can eat as much or drink as much. I'm having a hard time talking, and um, 
just hoping that that isn't going to turn into anything more. I wasn't on my CoQ10 for like five days because the pharmacy ran out and then we ha we ordered it as soon as they gave us like they said we only have four days for you we probably won't have any more and you need to order it online because I get liquid and that's kind of abnormal it's not not the common way to get it normally it's just pills um and even CoQ10 isn't it's not uncommon but it's not something they have crazy on stock especially in the liquid so yeah I wasn't on it and so I don't know if that's why I'm having these symptoms. I know also this being sick and then I was a little bit stressed out and so I just think a combination of everything. So hopefully it'll get better. Um, I feel better today. I just I'm just really, really tired of I'm just tired. So but I'll move on to the questions. Carolyn, what do you do in your free time? I really like to scrapbook. I think that's really fun. Um, I do a lot of like crafty things. Um, I love music. I love the piano. I love long phone calls. I love any way I can talk to friends, Facebook, texting. Um, I have a Wii my sister bought me for Christmas. Rachel, any hair color? That was a fun one. I think I've always wanted to be a redhead. And I used to be really blonde when I was little. I was really blonde until I was probably like a, even like 12. I was pretty blonde and then all of a sudden it just like went light brown. Um, but like I was just blonde, blonde for the longest time. So I miss my blonde hair. So I'll play blonde or redhead. Um, and then my question is what is your passion in life? And for me, my passion is definitely, without a doubt, missions. Um, I know that I feel very called and led to missions um, by God and very specifically called. And um, I know that he'll make a way when the time is right. So that's my biggest passion. I think that's what keeps me going is knowing that there's always a, he has a plan. And I think that um, it's good to like have things you're passionate about, horses and very passionate about um, in music. So I think if I went to college, I actually think was have thought about doing like music therapy or music ministry as my major. Um, just because I love it. <laughs> I'm not particularly good, but I love it a lot. And um, I started playing the piano when I was like nine. So at least that's in my favor, but that's about it. That was it. That was the only questions this week. Rachel, it's okay that your video is short. You're so cute. <laughs> I like your blonde hair. It's really, really pretty. And, um, trying to think. Stacy, I know you had kind of a rough week too. Like, it's alright. Like, it's totally okay to just be like, I'm just kind of stressed. I can't handle everything all the time. And for me, I mean, you guys know I'm a Christian, so I just give it back to God when that happens to me. But, um, I just, it's okay. Like, we, we're not, like, these, we don't have to be strong all of the time. We're allowed to be, like, I'm just sad and I'm just upset and I'm just kind of, ah, <laughs> right now. And, um, like, a week like this may not bother me another day. I, I mean, it's what hasn't been, like, this horrible week. It's just been, I feel like a bunch of little stones have been just chucked at me and, um, I'm just tired, and I, I think it's hard not getting enough sleep too. With, just with the feeds, you know, you have to stop and stop your pump at certain times in the morning, and you have to. Or st I've been staying up later so I can sleep in a little bit later because it runs for ten hours, and that's like a good chunk to be sleeping. But I like to be in bed from like ten to nine thirty with, and then wake up real slow and not be like waking up. I hate like I hate alarm clocks. Um, so I think that's just kind of, I'm just kind of irritated about that, but it's alright because that's what I need, um, especially right now since I feel like my swallowing's gotten worse again. Um, but you know, like you come back around again and like I find it, I don't stay down for too long, it's usually just like a couple of days maybe or I'll just need to be kind of like, ugh, just kind of sad, just kind of stinks sometimes, it's just kind of hard sometimes, that's alright, it is.
perfectly normal feeling, I, f I think. I think that's nothing wrong with just being like, yeah, it's hard. Pots is hard. Mito is hard. Um, you know, whatever you have is hard. I know lots of you guys have other gastroparesis. You know, it's just hard. And, um, but we have each other and we have awesome, awesome ways of coping. And I know that after a couple of days, and I'm hoping, I'm thinking even, you know, tomorrow, I'm like, all right, come on, Millie, snap out of this. Time to, time to run forward again and tackle life because it's way too short to be moping and, and feeling sad. Um, but, you know, joy is different than happiness. It's not always like, I don't, you don't always have to go around with a big smile plastered on your face. It's just, you know, you're just okay, you're content, you're all right with the situation in your own way, even if it is hard. It's, you can be hard and be joyful at the same time, and it's kind of a weird concept, but that's why joy is so different from happiness. It's just kind of like, I'm, I'm okay, I accept how, how it is um, right now. I'm always hoping for better. It doesn't mean I'm like, this is how it is forever and ever and ever, and it's never going to be better. But, um, you know, you're... I think it's like being alright with yourself, being at peace with yourself and who you are, and um, just being being very, very um, content with the little things as well. It's the big things that happen. They for sure happen too, but oftentimes it is the little things that I find that keep me going, you know. I'm so grateful for you guys. You guys are definitely one of those things, a bigger thing though than small. And I hope that everyone is doing okay this week and feeling alright.